It's October 2nd, 1950, and you live in Allentown, Pennsylvania. I'm sorry to report that to you. I don't know how it happened either. You know, lives were lived, choices were made, mistakes happened, but somehow you ended up in Allentown, Pennsylvania on October 2nd, 1950. Now, I don't know what it was like to live in Allentown of October of 1950. I'm sure it was either much, much better or much, much worse than it is today, depending on who you ask. But anyway, there you are. And probably not for the first time in your existence, you are really questioning your lot in life. But little did you know that you were actually one of the chosen few because you lived in one of only seven cities smart enough and savvy enough and somehow hip enough to carry peanuts by Charles Schultz from the very first day. Now, I have no doubt that had you known what an auspicious and historic day this was, you would have forgone your coffee and your donut and you would have sprinted to your local newsstand and you would have picked up the newspaper, one of only seven in the world, carrying this brand new comic strip, and you would have opened it up and you would have read these words. Well, here comes old Charlie Brown. Good old Charlie Brown. Yes, sir. Good old Charlie Brown. How I hate him. And you would have rejoiced because you got to live in Allentown, Pennsylvania. And you would have even felt good enough that you could have looked into your heart and reached out to future Billy Joel and forgive him for writing that song about your city. Of course, you wouldn't have known it was an auspicious occasion. I mean, how could you? Four tiny postage stamp sized comic strip panels. Two of the characters in the strip aren't even named. In a way, though, the whole thing is sort of poetic and sort of perfect for Peanuts, if you think about it, because here he was. Charles Schultz had made it. He was a huge success. He was a nationally syndicated newspaper cartoonist, the only thing he ever really wanted to be. Unfortunately, it was only being seen in seven papers, one of them in Allentown, Pennsylvania, surely not one of the biggest markets in the world. So, yeah, it was great. He got to be in the same league, in the same art form as some of his heroes, like Milt Kniff and George Harriman and Walt Kelly. But in a lot of instances, he wasn't even on the same page as those other strips. Peanuts was sold as a space-saving strip, four equal panels every single day that could be rearranged in a variety of ways to help the editor with the layouts in the days before Photoshop. So there he was, He had made it to the toppermost of the poppermost, and yet Charles Schultz was still, somehow, almost completely invisible. And that's the most Charlie Brown thing I can imagine. Welcome to Unpacking Peanuts, the podcast where three cartoonists take an in-depth look at the greatest comic strip of all time, Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz. Welcome to Unpacking Peanuts, the podcast where we go deep into the world of Charles Schultz and the Peanuts Gang. I'm Jimmy Gownley. Uh, If you know me from anything, you might know me from my comic books, Amelia Rules, The Dumbest Idea Ever, or Seven Good Reasons Not to Grow Up. And joining me, as always, are my two co-hosts. First, we have the composer behind the band Complicated People, as well as this very podcast. And the cartoonist behind such strips as Tangled River, A Gathering of Spells and Strange Attractors, Mr. Michael Cohen. Hello there. And we also have with us former vice president of Archie Comics, executive producer and writer of Mystery Science Theater 3000, and creator of the Instagram strip Sweetest Beast, Harold Buckholtz. Hello. Uh, Basically, what we are going to do is we are going to look at the complete run of the original Peanuts comic strips by Charles Schultz from 1950 all the way up to the year 2000. We are going to look at them year by year with one episode of the podcast devoted to each year of the strip. January to December, every single year that Charles Schultz created this comic strip masterpiece. In addition, every now and again, you don't know when. We're just going to drop them. Every now and again, there's going to be special episodes with special guests, and we're going to talk about different things outside the main strip. Things like Vince Guaraldi's music. Charlie Brown Christmas.
to your good man, Charlie Brown. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. You're the kind of reminder we need. We might have a whole episode just about Spike. You never know. We could go there. Anyway, so that's the show. Thank you so much for listening so far, and uh, let's get back to it. Thank you.